Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So in this session, so we are going to so we are going to explain about uh, how to find out the reverse number of a given input number, right? Uh, so using a C language syntax, how to find the reverse number of a given number? Okay. So here, it's a reverse number program. reverse number program program in C is so one. So, how to find the reverse number? It is very simple here it is we are going to discuss the logic right. So, first of all we need to read n value n value suppose n value n value just consider here it is 1 2 3 4 is a n value. Now, so we need to find the reverse number, reverse number. So, first we need to get individual digits, we know how to get the individual digits, right. How to get individual digit means just we need to perform mod operation with 10. Here is a logic n is mod 10, whenever you divide is a 1, 2, 3, 4 with a 10, the remainder is a 4, remainder is 4, that 4 will be stored into R. 4 will be stored into R. So, here n value is 1, 2, 3, 4 and here it is in the first case, in the first case here we are writing R equals to 4. Now, declare one variable sum variable, the initial value is a 0 and remember this to the sum is we are multiplying with a 10 plus the remainder. What is the sum value is 0, 0 into 10 is a 0 only plus r. So, what is the r value is 4. So, that will be stored into sum. So, sum value become 4, sum value become 4. The first I mean last digit so will come to first. Next we need to work with a 1, 2, 3. How you will get 1, 2, 3 means what? Whenever you perform this n not mod operation n by 10 means what? It will give the quotient as a result instead of reminder, right. So, here n by 10, n by 10 that will be stored into n. So, now n value is become 1, 2, 3, n value become 1, 2, 3. Again it will repeat the loop, same logic it should execute. So, here here we need to place that everything in a loop, the condition will see. In the next iteration, the n value is 123, the mod 10 means what it will give the next digit, next digit means what is 3, so r value is 3. Now it will execute, some value is already 4, 4 is multiplied with the 10 is 40 plus r value is 3, 43. So, 43 will be stored into sum, it is 43 and next n by 10, is so working with 3 is over, so now it will become 12, again it will repeat the loop and here it is again it will execute n mod 10 means what? It will give the last digit that is 2, that is 2 and here it is a sum into 10, 43 is multiplied with a 10 means what? Is a 430 plus r the r value is a 2. So, 432 will be stored into sum, it is 432 and n by 10. So, 12 become 1, 12 become 1, again it will repeat the loop, 1 is not divisible by 10. So, it will give the reminder as usual 1. So, here it is a sum into 10, 432 is multiplied with the 10 means what 4320 plus 1, the so, value is a 4321 and here it is n by 10 value, here it is a 1 by 0 means what is a value is a 0. So, here whenever n value 0, 0 we should stop. So, if n value is greater than 0, you can continue. So, these many times it will repeat, first 1, 2, 3, 4 is greater than 0, 1, 2, 3 is greater than 0, 1, 2 is greater than 0, 1 is greater than 0. Finally, whenever 0 is greater than 0, it terminates and here the sum is contains that reverse number, 
the given number is 1, 2, 3, 4 and the reverse number is a 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this is the simple logic, this is the simple logic to find the given number corresponding a reverse number. Hope you understood well. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you.